I'm Barbara Connell and I'm the Chief Examiner for Media Studies at the WJC uh, and this is Christine Bell who is the Principal for MS1 um, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, approaches to MS1. Christine, what key areas do you suggest that teachers consider when approaching representation? Well, I think um, the there are three main key areas which I would suggest were construction, uh, mediation and ideology. Could you tell me a bit more about what you mean by construction? Construction because you know, students need to be aware that all media texts are constructed and represented to an audience. They're not windows on the world. And what do you mean by mediation? Um, mediation, which is a, a process of construction, so obviously that occurs in the construction of a text. So for example, in a news program, there are all sorts of different things that happen to that particular news extract before we watch it on our screens. And students need to be aware that it will have been edited, a voiceover will be added, the news anchor will give a particular perspective about it. Um, for example, a, an example that's on at the minute, Jamie's Dream School, um, the reaction of the audience and the press from the way in which the programme is mediated for the audience from all the hours of the film of filming, that, that sort of press reaction comes from that, from the fact that it's been edited and it's been mediated and constructed. Now, my students find the area, the whole idea of ideology quite difficult. How do you approach the teaching of it? Well, I think it's important for students to be aware of the fact that the producers of media texts package and encode text with messages that then audiences decode. Um, and you know, getting them to look at particular examples is obviously very helpful. The Daily Mail is a very good example um, because they will represent areas of society, for example, young people, asylum seekers, in a very particular way. And even just looking at front pages of the Daily Mail, the way they use language, the way they refer to young people, for example, gives us a quite a clear idea of how they view that particular section of society. And so it's really important for students to look at texts and to be aware that different texts represent different areas of society in very different ways.